Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolves Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 about a culture of werewolves that have no civilization. So the rules for the challenge will be in the description below as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. Now we have unfortunately lost this family last time and now it's winter. So we're starting over with no food and this is going to be rough. We have Alu, Levin, and Valerian, Levin. And so we have to try to find some sort of food. Unfortunately, there is no way to fish. There are practically no plants, although there is some wolfsbane. That's a blackberry bush. And I think you can find some things in the caves, but maybe we can try and befriend Christopher because he might be able to let us into the collective werewolf pack. We won't be able to join it though, unless we can find some things to give him. Hey, you stole my snowdrops. Not like it matters. I think I actually might uproot those and see if someone will plant something else because we don't need flowers. Oh, the nightly mushroom. Okay, I just have to come back at night because I can actually get that one. And we are going to uproot the dahlia flower too. I think sometimes they will plant something here, but I don't know. Oh, no, you have to get dressed. Don't die, Lily. They should not come out in their regular clothes. Okay, we are a friend of the collective, but I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't get anything from the pack resources. We can only contribute. Well, I should look for some wolfsbane because you can eat wolfsbane even though it's a flower. Oh, and you stole it from me. You stole it. I was going to go get that. Okay, I think we have enough tunnel paths between us in order to find the caves. Okay, now we just need to get a method of getting food. Oh, where did those come from? Where did you get the nightly mushrooms from? Okay, we actually have some nightly mushrooms. Can we make something with that? Oh, we need one more mushroom to make mushroom steak. That's unfortunate. We do have some uncommon collectibles. Okay, so we have Lunar Empathy now. Oh, and we're eating for two. That's wonderful. Okay, now what we need is Transformation Mastery. Oh, and Scavenging. That's right. She can't demonstrate scavenging. All right. Well, that might be the next thing that we get. Oh, we got an earthquake. So this is our first... Oh, Volcanic Bomb. Okay, so first disaster and we have to make a roll after we make sure there's no fire okay so you know how it goes in winter um pretty much everybody dies and unfortunately these people have not had a chance to build up their bonus points yet so i don't have very much faith in this and of course we lose the female all right well um that will mean that Valerian is on his own and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, Valerian is transforming. Can we get through this without scaring someone? The best thing to do when you're rampaging is to go up to the top of the mountain, especially if you have the scavenging ability and just root around for items and keep your werewolf busy. Okay, we got Transformation Mastery. Okay, and we're going to get the ability to hunt because that's basically going to be the only way that we can get food. I would get the will to resist, but I think hunting is a little bit more important right now. And we are the only one. So unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. Of course, we have to be a night wolf. So, yeah, that means we are going to be sleeping during the day and awake at night. Oh, it's the full moon. 
So, yeah, he's transformed again. Oh, and we have another disaster. All right. Well, he's transformed. There's not much I can do until he comes to at 6 a.m. It's almost the full moon over. So we'll do the death roll as soon as this full moon is over. Oh, we were able to regain control. That usually doesn't happen during the full moon. All right. And we're going to roll for just Valerian. And he survives. Now, the reason why I'm not starting over right now is because even if I did, it's the middle of winter. <laughs> and that is just a really bad time to start a new family. So we'll just continue as long as we can with Valerian. And if he happens to complete his aspiration, which I don't think we can do in a single week, but we will try. If he does happen to complete his aspiration, then I can reduce the mortality rate for everyone by 1% because that counts as starting over. Now I can't find the pack leader because I guess it's a full moon. So Christopher is not out. Okay, so we completed at least the original one. That doesn't count for reducing the mortality rates, but now we need to do the Emissary of the Collective. And Valerian's going to be active because he's practicing punching. There is Christopher. Okay, hopefully we can get to know Christopher and join the Moonwood Mill Collective. It's winter time. Why do none of the werewolves wear their winter outfits? I mean, they're in human form, so they can actually freeze to death, except for Christopher. He won't freeze to death. No, don't leave, Christopher. Okay, he's our friend. Can we now join the Moonwood Mill Collective, please? I think you have to be at least friends. Yeah, that works. Okay, just a minute, Christopher. I just need to ask you if I can join. I know we just met and all, but I want to be part of the Moonwood Mill Collective. And now we need to be a good werewolf ambassador, socialize with three more werewolf friends, and become alpha. That's going to be hard. And now we're just trying to make friends with Lily. I think if you give packmate gifts, that might help. Oh, if you go under compliments and praise the Moonwood Collective's commitment to diplomacy, that actually gets you a werewolf ambassador point. Okay, she's a friend. Now maybe we can make friends with Mara, since that's the other collective pack. Okay, Mara is our third friend. Now we can make Maddie our friend. Um... But Maddie's more interested in his wife right now. <laughs> I like how Valerian kind of just looked down and looked a little bit sheepish. Hey, wait, I'm not done talking to you. He went over to go kiss his wife. He's like, come on, I'm talking to you. Don't just walk off. Okay, that ends our socialization with werewolf friends. And we got a lemon from Mara. Okay, we have an apple, a grow fruit, a spinach, mushroom steak, animal crackers, fishing book, heart frog, moon petal. Uh, I want there to be a Luna fish in here, but I'm probably never going to find it. Okay, we finished our werewolf ambassador, and now we just need to become alpha. Oh, we got another volcanic bomb. Is he going to wake up? Nope, he's asleep. All right, so if they don't wake up when the disaster goes off, then they actually get a bigger penalty because they're asleep. Okay, let's see what happens this time. Oh, he survived with 37. So it's still not that bad in winter, as long as you have some bonuses. So Alu died with an 8. And so far, the male has still survived. All right, and we are transforming, but we will try to regain control. Oh, good, that worked. Why does he keep getting this fine plus 10 controlled emotions? 
it's he's not doing anything mindful other than sleeping in a tent. Well, I'll take it. We're going to surge energized and then practice punching. Oh, we got a grilled Luna fish. That's not really what I wanted, though. I wanted the, the actual fish, but I guess I'll take it. Oh, Christopher is uncomfortable. Maybe if we challenge him right now. Ah, of course not. He went back from being blue. Oh, well. Okay, we have Devour now, so we should be able to rank up pretty quickly. Oh, we're getting another Earthquake. Or Volcanic Bomb. Another Volcanic Bomb. Okay. Well, we have another Death Roll to run. <laughs> this winter is rough. Okay, are we going to survive this time? Yep, 95. That's a high roll. And back to our devouring of everything. Okay, and finally he's an apex. But we need to regain control again. Okay, so power of the Luna fish makes you energized. And so does eating nightly mushrooms. Maybe energized is a better mood to be in instead of confident well we're gonna invite over christopher and see if we can get the pack leadership oh maybe we can wait until he's uncomfortable probably won't work okay here we go we are very confident and he's very focused so i'm not sure if this will go well but we're going to try it all we need to do is become Alpha of the Moonwood Mill Collective, and then Valerian can work on other goals. Now, even though he doesn't have any lineage, it's fine as long as he doesn't die. And then if he does die, oh, we won! Wow, well, okay, if he does die, then that means that we get to adjust the survival rates. And we are the Emissary of the Collective. Okay, I think we're going to work on the Curator, but I don't know if there's very much that we can do with that. Oh, we also got a Collectible. Okay, so wait a sec. Do the Collectibles count that we already have? They do. Okay. So we can get some of them started. I'm not going to cheat by moving them back and forth because you can actually do that. Just move them back and forth from the world to your inventory. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make sure that he actually has 10 collectibles. But I think I might already have 10 collectibles. Or at least close to it. Okay, I have eight. And then I can also scavenge. The only thing is frogs. I think you need frogs for this aspiration. I'm not sure where I can get a frog. Oh, there's nightly mushrooms. No, 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 no. Don't take my nightly mushrooms. Come on. I was just about to go get those. Oh, it counts when I find something scavenging. Okay, well, that's easy enough. The only thing is I cannot scavenge for frogs. I think for frogs, I'm going to have to have a pond somewhere. And the problem is that I do not have room for a pond on the current lot where I'm at. I have one here. Is someone already working on the collectibles one? I think they might be. I know someone was already working on the fishing one. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, I have collected 10 collectibles. Now I need to collect five crystals, three frogs, and three fossils. I think you can get frogs by exploring the tunnels. Sometimes it will give you a frog. It's pretty rare though. Oh, Frog City! Well, what do you know? 
Somewhere ahead, the repetitive creak of metal echoes towards Valerian, followed by a slish slosh of water. As it repeats, Valerian begins to speculate that there might be a water pump when he stumbles into a room filled with frogs. It's almost a proper frog city. They aren't just the common kind either. Someone's been breeding them. Well, at least the frogs seem happy down here. And I got a leopard frog. Well, there is one frog. And we now have a crystal. So you can find crystals. Actually, we have two crystals. Why don't I have two crystals on here? Well, that's not fair. I'm going to fix that. You just have to take it out of your inventory and put it back in. I have two crystals. I should get credit for two. Oh, I can check pack resources and get a frog. That's cool. Okay, that's two frogs. And now I have three. Oh, she's giving me a gift. Are you giving me a frog? No, an onion. I don't need onions. Oh, oh no. Jacob is dying. At least he's not one of my Sims. Okay, a broken fossil. Does not count as a fossil? Well, that sucks. Okay, I'm only missing one pot shard and two of the tablets. So I've almost completed this collection. It's going to be a shame if I complete the collection before I get to that point in the aspiration. I need three more crystals and two more fossils. Uh, I got a metal in there. There's nothing else. Okay, well, I guess I'll take the metal for now. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Maddie tried to intimidate me. That's funny. Uh, quick question. Mana, Okada, and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. But you're dead. Um, sure, go for it. He's supposed to be dead, though. I thought I released his spirit. That is weird. Oh, is she going to give me a gift? Good. What did I get? A uh, jawbone. I don't need that. Well, since Lily's an elder, I'll discuss my fear of death with her and get rid of the fear, even though he really has nothing to fear from death. Unless he gets a zero, even in winter, he's fine. Oh, Christopher is sparring with me. Okay, well, hopefully this is not taking over. Oh, I actually won? Good. I'm confident, so he didn't stand a chance, I guess. A time capsule. Well, that's worthless. Lily, are you going to spar with me? Okay. I feel bad about beating up an old lady. It's a good thing you won. It would have been embarrassing if you lost to Lily. Oh no, we're getting an earthquake. Well... We get one more death roll. Okay, and here we go. And of course he survives. Werewolf Menace unlocked. No, why am I a Werewolf Menace? Because I'm devouring something next to s some kid? Oh no, I'm not supposed to unlock that ability. Well, Valerian is going to get banished. Sorry, Valerian. Okay, one of the things about the Moonwood Mill Collective is that they're not allowed to buy the ferocity ability, and they're also not allowed to unlock the werewolf menace ability. And that means that we have to move him to the loner's clan. But that's fine because actually... We do not have any children here. So the only thing is he was working on the collections and he had finished his werewolf aspiration. 
So now he has to do the one for the loner's clan, which means defeating Greg. That should be no problem. <laughs> okay, we have to give the pack leadership back to Christopher. And Christopher, you can have it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we have to leave the pack. And we got another earthquake? Come on! I'm not even done getting out of here yet. Yeah, we, we, we kind of made it so that we're not even friends with him anymore. <laughs> oh well. Okay, we'll roll one more time before we send him to the loner's clan. And he survives. Of course, he's not an alpha anymore. But that's okay. 57 is enough to survive. Okay, time to start flirting. Okay, we have Cheyenne and Chi. Even though they don't like each other, they're fated mates. Because that's how the thing works. So this is the end of the week. And this is a new start with a new family for next time. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.